The new year begins with a host of foreign policy challenges for a Trump administration already facing an impeachment battle here at home. State Department correspondent Rich Edson sets the table for what could be a very busy 2020 overseas. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo's first trip of the new year is off. The State Department says monitoring events in Iraq, the assault on the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad, will keep the secretary in Washington. I'll make sure I'm in the right place to ensure that our people, the people of the State Department and Americans are safe and secure in the Middle East. And if that means I have to change or delay my trip for a bit, that's what I'll do. Administration officials blame Iran for the attack on the embassy compound in Baghdad and warn the sanctions campaign they expanded against Iran in 2019 will continue in 2020. Iran is one of several foreign policy challenges the Trump administration faces in the new year. The administration says it plans to build on its successes. Democrats say there's mostly been failure. I think the innate weakness of his foreign policy, which we've seen not just in the Middle East, but uh, in, in, with respect to Russia and China and certainly North Korea. North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un is threatening to unveil a new strategic weapon. He likes me. I like him. We get along. Uh, he's representing his country. I'm representing my country. We have to do what we have to do. Kim says his country is no longer constrained by his agreement with the president to halt nuclear and ballistic missile tests. The U.S. tried unsuccessfully for a year and a half to get North Korea to dismantle its weapons. Kim now promises to move even further away from a deal. And while the president says he's ready to sign phase one of a trade agreement with China in two weeks at the White House, there are a host of economic and human rights differences between the two countries. The U.S. has supported democracy protesters in Hong Kong and has denounced China's surveillance, detention and re-education of its Uyghur Muslim minority. And there's the prospect of a peace deal with the Taliban in Afghanistan, differences or cooperation with Russia. Nicolas Maduro's endurance in Venezuela, a Ukraine-centered impeachment trial, questions on the U.S. relations with its oldest European allies, and all else unexpected from international events or an unpredictable president. Rich, there's also some tension with the folks across the street in Congress and Saudi Arabia. Yeah, certainly on foreign policy and one of the hallmarks of the Trump administration has been a stronger relationship with Saudi Arabia, certainly as a check to provide a greater check on Iran. But there's a lot that's gone on in that relationship with Saudi Arabia, the killing of Jamal Khashoggi from a while back uh, and some of the other issues, human rights being an issue, uh, the war in Yemen. These are issues that Congress has started to push back on, creating some tension there as well. Rich Edson, thanks very much.